In this video, I'm quickly going to show you how to swap faces in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So over here in Photoshop, we are going to import the pictures that we are going to use. So in this case, I got the pictures of two of your goats, Messi and Ronaldo. So I'm going to open that in Photoshop. Now you decide which image you want to put on which image. In this case, I realized that putting Messi's image on Ronaldo's will be very easier. So in that case, what we're going to do is first of all, make sure that the main image that we are going to put the other image on is unlocked. And then you go into your second image. For this one, you might choose not to even unlock it and that is fine. Now, what we're going to do is you're going to select the lasso tool and then you can make a selection of the part of the face that you want on the other image. Mind you, we don't want the whole of the face, so we are going to make a selection. Starting, let's say, from here. Now, you don't really have to get all of this very perfect and you are not looking for all the faces. I'm not even with my mouse today, so... Alright, so you need to get something like that. Great, so once you have this, you can make a copy, Control c to copy that, and then you can come onto your second image at this point i can zoom in so that you see it very clear like that press ctrl v and then you can paste it over here now select your move to press ctrl t to transform the second image that you brought in and then you can bring it down to just make sure that the lines are or the eyes are aligned so i can rotate messi's image slightly like that and then i can transform it in like so so let me bring it here transform it some more you don't want the math to be somewhere it's not supposed to be here so you can bring it somewhere around here now some way somehow this will depend on the two images that you are using so you might take the time to position it very neatly and nicely like this now the position of the image will solely depend on the two images that you are using once you have it at a point that you really like you can go to your first layer hold control and then place your cursor here you realize that there is a square dotted square over there click on it and then it is going to make a selection of the face after that go to select go to modify and then you can go to contract depending on the image that you are using you might choose between 1 and 10 and that should be fine in this instance 5 works for me so I'm going to choose 5 now you realize that the selection has contracted a bit and that is fine now go back to your layers and the first layer here we are going to hide that leaving the second layer come to the second layer make sure that it is selected and then you can hit on delete now when you hit on delete the selected part is going to delete then you press ctrl d to deselect that go back to your layers and then bring back the image that you hate so at this point you'd realize that we are getting somewhere go back to your layers hold ctrl and select the two images after that Head over to edit go to auto blend layers and then you can see blend method and then stack images choose stack images and then you can click on okay and just like that it automatically blends in for you and then this is what we have so we went from this to that now a few things that you should consider is you need to get pictures that are bit related in terms of color and contrast and all that else you are going to be doing some color grading or color correction before this would work for you in this instance the two images fitted perfectly and this is the final result what are your thoughts about this process do you think this looks good does it even look real legit let me know your thoughts in the comment section and just in case you practice this you might want to send it over to instagram so that we can all check it out laugh it out and then get connected I hope this video was helpful. If it was, a subscribe to the channel would be so very good. Tip. Thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.